going on everybody my name is Ed Burr with Twitter and of course welcome back to another episode of the DLC showcase or of course the super pack showcase for Lego Marvel superheroes now at the time of this recording this is still only for pre-order exclusive which means that unfortunately you can't get your hands on it quite yet but I assume that it will become available for DLC downloads very very soon indeed that being said of course last time we took a look at this fella the symbiote spider-man today we will shift our attention to this fella right here the Hawkeye, or the classic version, I should say, of Hawkeye. So, of course, you've got the uh, Avengers movie version of Hawkeye, but you also have available to you the classic version, which is really what I think would have been best to do for them, is to stick to kind of like, just give them maybe different versions of characters instead of uh, doing, like, important characters, a part of DLC pack, because I feel like Thanos and Sibyl and Spider-Man are important characters, and they should really not have been... Uh, in DLC pack, I think that they should have been in the main game. Uh, but that being said, I think something like this, a classic version of Hawkeye, indeed does fit in perfectly uh, for a DLC pack. So as you can see, he definitely looks very, very much uh, like he did in the comics. Pretty darn cute version there of Hawkeye. He's got a cool idol animation of him just picking up arrows and shooting them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, other than that, he's got a very uh, cool cold combat attack. So like, maybe you just get close. Wait, close up. There we go. So he uses his bow and arrows to strike upon his enemies, as you can see. Now, as far as his shooting abilities, he can uh, fire off single shots, uh, then he can aim and fire off single shots, like so, for longer distances, etc. And then, on top of that, he also has a triple shot, which is pretty cool, like, bam, see that? Triple arrows, which is pretty awesome indeed. You could th uh, shoot three or multiple arrows at once, which is pretty awesome sauce indeed. Uh, other than that, I would believe that he has the same abilities as Hawkeye, meaning that, for example, you know, like when you need uh, to, when there's a hole and you could put an arrow there and then climb on that, uh, to use it kind of like a platform, I would assume that he has the exact same ability as uh, the other version of Hawkeye in that sense. Uh, so other than that, yep, pretty much uh, the exact same character as Hawkeye, except you get a different skin on the character, and uh, he looks fantastic. Definitely uh, a nice addition to the Super Pack indeed. So there you have it. That is the classic version of Hawkeye. If you guys enjoyed this video, of course, make sure to smash that like button. Check out the other characters that I have already showcased, which include the following fellas right here. The symbiote version of uh, Spider-Man. We've got the Winter Soldier. Of course, we currently showcased Hawkeye. We took a look at Rick Jones, a.k.a. A-Bomb. And we also look, uh, took a look at Thanos. So we've still got three more characters to go, so definitely stay tuned. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a crap and fantastic day. I'll see you later. Alligators. nationwide network of 7,000 operated CDO attorneys with over 1 million violations reduced or dismissed. Avoid big fines and attorney fees. Choose from plans starting at just $49.95 a month. 100. Alrighty, what is going on, everybody? My name is Blair Whitmer, and of course, welcome back to another video showcasing the custom or super pack, sorry, not custom super pack, custom Go to expression, not custom super pack again, I say super pack again. Alrighty, the super pack DLC pack thingamajig that is currently only a pre-order exclusive. So of course, if you have not pre-ordered Lego Marvel Superheroes, you don't currently have the way to get these characters. But later down the line, just like they did with uh, Lego Batman 2, I would imagine that they would make these characters available for DLC. But nonetheless, of course, last time we showcased Thanos was pretty gosh darn fantastic, one of the big figures. And today, we will shift our attention to the next character, and that is the Winter Soldier, right here. So, of course, uh, unfortunately, he does not have really a cool idol animation or anything like that. He just kind of stands there, really pretty top. Of course, he's going to play a big role in the brand new Captain America movie, uh, The Winter Soldier, which looks fantastic. That movie looks fan flipping fantastic I mean, it looks really, really awesome, and uh, I cannot wait. Uh, to actually see that, especially the trailer looks absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen it, definitely, definitely check it out. So you can see, as far as the character itself, he looks pretty gosh darn cool. Uh, definitely has uh, a lot of the elements that he needs to have. You know, the star on the shoulder, uh, the metal arm, the uh, left metal arm. Uh, he's got uh, all his attire to fit. He's got a blaster to, uh, you know, take down some of his uh, foes. And I'm saying foes because uh, some of them are good guys, some of them are bad guys. Spoiler alert. Um, of course, he can jump, 
Uh, nothing too special there in particular. Uh, as far as his attacks, he just uh, uses the gun, the blaster that I just mentioned. So uh, that's pretty much his ability. He doesn't have any punching or kicking or anything like that. He just uses the gun. In fact, even if you do an attack like, you know, a jumping attack like this, he just hits you with the gun. So that's his main weapon, main tool. Uh, you can press the circle button to put away the gun if you need to. So that's really nice. At least they give you that ability. And of course, you can also aim to do kind of like a sniper shot, like one single uh, shot instead of a rapid fire. So for example, here, you see? Boom, boom. There you have it. So that's pretty much it. That is the Winter Soldier, as you can see, a pretty gosh darn cool character in video. That being said, uh, right here I'm going to announce how to get your chance to get one of my codes that are available uh, to me. I was able to get my hands on another uh, code for the P uh, PlayStation 3. Again, remember, this is the PS3 version, so uh, if you have uh, the Xbox version, unfortunately I can't help you guys. I don't have another code for that system, but I do have an additional code for the PS3. Uh, to give away to uh, get yourself the DLC pack here. Uh, so in order to get uh, a chance to win the DLC pack, all you have to do is, uh, in the comment section below, you have to uh, type Blitz Army, along with any comment that you post, just post uh, Blitz Army. And then go to my Twitter page, which is uh, twitter.com uh, slash blitzlinger. Follow that page, and on there, tweet at me, who is your favorite character to play as in the game? And that's all you have to do. That is literally all that you must do, and then I will probably announce the winner, let's see, uh, today is October 28th, so let's say October, um, well, let's do it on Halloween Day, that, that's what we should do, October 31st, you will see uh, the winner, and one of you guys will get a chance to win uh, the free pack, uh, the free super pack of uh, downloadable characters and vehicles as well. So that being said, there you have it, that is the showcase for the Winter Soldier, of course, smash that like button, share the video with your family and friends, and favorite the videos as well, and of course, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the content on the Blitzlinger channel. Coming fast with the chat today, guys, we'll catch you guys next time, peace out, see you later, alligators, true believers, Exaggio, boom. Still not confident about which used car to buy? Nope. Why not ask the most confident person you know? My old high school coach. <sighs> this one's got talent, toughness, a will to win. Let me coach you on this. Just say, show me the car that I can sell you. You'll get the most accurate price based on the vehicle's accident history. Look for me and stop overpaying. Shop at the all-new carfax.com. What is going on, everybody? My name is Phil the Twinger, and of course, welcome back to another video showcasing the Super Pack DLC Pack for Lego Marvel Super Heroes. For now, of course, it is a pre-order only uh, exclusive, so basically, if you pre-order the game, you got access to a code, which will then uh, allow you to actually, um, of course, download the set of characters, as well as a couple of exclusive vehicles, uh, and some other cool stuff as well. Uh, but of course, today we're focusing on showcasing some characters. Last time we looked at Mr. A-Bomb right here, who's pretty fantastic, here he that face. But today, we're going to focus on the big baddie from, uh, or at least we thought he would be the big baddie from Avengers 2. Now we know that of course he's not, this whole time he will be. And that is of course, Thanos. Or I know some people say Thanos, so it depends, I guess, tomato, tomato, potato, potato, however you say it. But it's, uh, I think Thanos, I know some people say Thanos, so I just wanted to you know, cover my bases, so to speak. 
But as you can see, he's got a pretty lockdown cool uh, figure. Of course, he's a big figure as well, which again means that the Super Pack contains two ginormous figures, which is fan flipping tastic. Pretty lockdown cool indeed. As you can see, he's got his uh, venomous purple face with uh, those little slits. What the? Did the flower just grow in front of me? That was pretty bizarre. I think that's uh, one of his like idle animations. Let's see. Let's just wait. Let's do a little bit of a shot around again around Mr. Thanos here. Take a look at what he looks like. And then the flowers appear. And look at that, Thanos. Nope. Everything he touches turns to dust. Alrighty. So, of course, let's take a look at his attack showcase. Uh, he's got the elbow drop instead of the uh, double arm smash down, you know? Uh, so he's got the... I think the thing does it like this as well. Uh, from the Fantastic Four, that is. He's got the stomp down attack that allows him to bring up a piece of the ground and then throw it at your enemies. Uh, of course, punches. Oh, no, sorry, I forgot. He doesn't have punches. It's A-Bomb he does. He actually has these little blasts that come out, the little energy beams. They kind of look like he's almost shooting oxygen, somewhat. Uh, I would have loved if his uh, pointer would have been a little bit more unique. You know how, like, Tony gets a unique-looking one and uh, Spider-Man gets a unique-looking one. It would have been nice to have something a little bit more cosmic-looking or something like that. Uh, but that being said, uh, he runs, he doesn't fly, unfortunately, uh, which uh, would have been kind of cool, like, if they gave him a hovering-type maneuver or something like that, because even though he doesn't do that in the comics or anything like that, I think it would have been really cool to have a ginormous minifigure flying around, and it would have been something very, very different indeed. Uh, but yeah, that being said, there you have it. That is the video showcasing Thanos. Now, I wanted to announce on the Thanos video is that I have access, guys, to another code for the PS3 version of Lego Marvel Superheroes. I will be doing a giveaway, but you will have to tune in into one of these random episodes to find out which one of the videos features the giveaway itself. So definitely check them all out as uh, they will be showcased uh, and you will be an opportunity to win one of the codes. Alrighty, guys? So, of course, if you guys enjoyed this showcase with Thanos, smash that like button. Be on the lookout for some of the other characters that I will be showcasing, such as Dark Phoenix, the Winter Soldier, Symbiote Spider-Man, which honestly kind of shocked me that they didn't put him in the game. Same goes with Thanos. I'm honestly shocked that you can't get Thanos unless you are, if you actually get DLC packs or pre-order the game. Because he's one of the main bad guys in the Marvel Universe, especially in the cosmic Marvel Universe. So you'd think he would be available, but he's not. So, uh, that being said... And there you have it, of course, smash that like button, share the videos with your family and friends, favorite the videos as well, and of course, do not forget to subscribe to never out all the content on the Bruce Lee channel. I'll catch you guys next time, but it's time for Jesse K, and I'll see you later, alligator. Peace out, guys. question is, what are we building? Every day we work with people transforming the world we live in. We have the products and tools they need to help them move faster. We bring our partners the power, experience, and skill to make complex projects simple, successful, and sustainable. We help them build the things that make things better. Ferguson. Together, we build better. My name is The Liquor, and of course, welcome to my first, very first, Super Pack DLC showcase for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. Now, of course, this is a DLC pack that is currently available only to those that pre-ordered the game, but it will be available to uh, for regular DLC purchase, just like it was, for for example, with the LEGO Batman uh, 2 DLC. So, for today, as you've read the title, I don't know what we're doing here, we turned to Peter Parker, that, that was pretty legit, that was pretty awesome. I never noticed you could do that. Uh, but we're going to start and kick things off with Mr. Rick Jones, a.k.a. A-Bomb. Now, he kind of reminds me of Marty McFly in terms of just uh, his getup. Like, doesn't he kind of look like him? Like, if they had a uh, Back to the Future, which they do actually have Lego. Uh, but he kind of looks like him. So as you can see, he's just a basic character, just punch, kick, nothing too fancy there. But then, when he gets angry, look at that, bam! Him, the big blue A bomb comes to play. So you get another ginormous minifigure, which is fantastic. As you can see, he runs very uh, gorilla like, kind of like the Hulk, pretty much. And of course, just like most uh, big minifigures, has kind of those similar uh, attacks. So as you can see, 
Got a pretty good uh, head sculpt there. Looks pretty cool. I love the little spikes going off the face. I also love how they did a, a great job of making him feel scaly, which is exactly what he should be like. He's a little bit more scaly in design than uh, Abomination even, for example, is. So um, that's very, very cool, as you can see. Very cool in videos. Uh, as far as his attacks go, he's got the double stomp down attack there. He's got punches, of course. Nothing too fancy there. He's got the stomp down and throw a piece of the ground at the enemy, just like a uh, majority of the other big figures uh, can do. He can jump very well, as you can see. Uh, and there you have it. That is pretty much A-Bomb. As you can see, he's pretty gosh darn boss. Pretty self boss in videos. And uh, he runs quick, and he's ready to cause some crazy mischief to everybody, I guess. So, yeah, he's pretty boss. He's pretty soft boss in Indeed. As you can see, he runs very, very quickly. As far as catchphrases, uh, I don't believe he says anything. Uh, he just kind of stands and stares at you, as you can see. Watch. So if we don't touch the screen at all... What the heck? Did you just see that? That guy that just walked next to us, his hair just appeared out of nowhere, like a couple of minutes late. You can see, that's it. He, he just pretty much pants. That's all he does. Bam! Let's punch that vehicle. <laughs> That was pretty awesome. But again, it's really cool to get another big minifigure, which is fantastic. Plus, uh, another one of the kind of, you know, Hulk villains to be added is also really nice because now we've got uh, Abomination, we've got the Hulk, and we've got Blue Bomb. So we've got kind of the big three. Plus, we still need to, uh, of course, unlock Red Hulk, but we'll get to that uh, in my LEGO Brick Adventures episode. But that being said, if you guys enjoyed this showcase for A Bomb, smash that like button and be on the lookout for the other characters from the DLC pack to be showcased as well. And of course, do not forget to check out all the other cool videos on the Blueprint YouTube channel. And if you don't want to miss out on those, then of course, smash that subscribe button. All right, you guys, have a fabulous you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. See you later. Solid Strangers. So let's see. I'm getting plenty of stud here, but still not quite enough to get a true believer ranking, which is really what I'm trying to work towards. All right, let's climb down. That was a good climb. Perfect. Just exactly what I wanted to do. Just fly down for no reason, no coherence. Thanks. Thanks, Hulk. Thanks for throwing me off. Jesus, I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. Whoa. Whoa, that thing is dangerous. If you hadn't realized that before, now you know that. Yay, okay, I got the blue studs at least. Come on. Isn't this enough already for a true believer? Don't I look like a true believer? I truly believe that I should be a true believer. Should be that shouldn't that be enough to make me a true believer? Alright, I'm just destroying everything back there to try to get Oh, I see another blue stud. Maybe that will get us there. Not quite. I can see we're going to need more, but still. Come on. Look at that. It's not even moving. There we go. Starting to change color now. The last stud. Which is nice. It's nice to see. Come on. Please change colors. Okay. Whatever. We must proceed, don't we? Here we go. I just certainly hope we can get... True Believer ranking. I don't want to be all of a sudden, so far the whole game I've managed to keep that up, and then all of a sudden not be able to get True Believer. Do I need to go in? Yep, there we go. Or actually go out, it looks like, because we've made our way outside of the plant, only to be greeted by a swarm of enemies. Great. Ouch. Holy. <laughs> this is amazing. imagining Wolverine being like a tour guide, you know, with a hat and a little uh, microphone in hand. He's like, well, if you look to the left, uh, you could see the uh, lung area of the Statue of Liberty. Whoa, I can't imagine, though, angering him or asking him 
too many questions, I'm going to die. Okay, I don't know the answer. Just leave me alone. Enjoy the tour or whatever. All right, let's save. Grab some of these studs here. Yes. All right. So, that's it. Job done. Can I get to Wolverine? There we go. Finally. Took a while. Get up there, Wolvie. All right. We got a claw switch. in the corner or anything, if it's Hulk, you can't pick it up, because his detection is just... That was great. Yep, that's exactly what I was hoping for it to happen. Oh, God. Careful. All right, let's get through this. Let's see where that takes us. Oh, it's just across. Okay. Now, let's see. Does this thing need to be broken up? And reassembled into a bridge, I would assume? Or not. This will become a platform. I think so. See? Yes. All right. Let's make it across, guys. Whoa. Okay. It's nice to know that uh, Hulk can hurt you. That's the jump. Okay. Come on, Hulky. Let's do this up. Get rid of this gate for us. Even though Wolverine should just be able to slice through that, right? All right. Here we go. But I guess it's really... Um, Doing that to, you know, kind of force you to play as different characters, diversify gameplay and stuff like that. Right? Come on! Attack everything! That's a good strategy, right? Just attack everything. Whoa! Wow, if only I would manage to figure out how to, how to do that. Okay, we got fantastic. Careful! Fly across. Get up there. Come on, come on, come on. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. That's good that Hulk wasn't letting me through. I just wanted to make sure that there was nothing else here. And it doesn't look like it, so now we can proceed to the next area. Ooh. Okay, that's going to require Hulk. All right. Come on. What you got, bro? Stomping attack that did nothing to you. I'm glad to see that. Come on, attack him. There you go. And one more dude. Yes, perfect. Good stuff. Whoa. Okay, could I stop switching to... Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness, really? Oh, he didn't die? <laughs> it's almost like I would expect him to die to then respawn all the way at the top. Damn. That's what happens when you get greedy with studs. You collect them more than you need to. Even though you need studs always, because you could always buy more stuff with them, right? More characters, more lockables, more red power breaks, more stuff. All right, let's get out of there. Back here again we go. Let's see. Am I supposed to put out the fire somehow? I would assume that's what, we're, what will be required of us. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty boxed. Bridge, reassemble. Get over here, dudes. Especially uh, you, Hulky. And I need your help for this next wall. Boom. Yay. Gotta love that. All right. Again, can't pick up that blue stud for some odd reason. Which is kind of annoying, I must say. Let's go, Reed. Sure down and shine again, dude. Here we go. Careful. Nice and easy. Come up the other side. Perfect. Now we got to figure out how to get these guys over to here. Okay, come on. Are you kidding me right now? That is ridiculous, man. That was unfair. Seriously. It's, a, it's not my fault that you can't walk straight. Oh, my God. Why did you guys come down? Go back up, please. Please, dude. I still need you up here. Are you guys coming? Oh, 
Alfred. So when I need you downstairs, you come up like in 30 seconds. When I need you upstairs, you just take your sweet time. Look at them. They're just chilling. They're like, yep, we're just going to hang out over here. Okay, careful. Yeah. Is he walking around now? Okay, perfect. Let's get across. Yay. Come on. No, no, no. That thing up there. Grab that. There you go. That's what I wanted you to do. I know you can't pull on those walls. I get that. Okay. Surprise, you guys are still chilling down there. Come on. Get up. We're in a rush after all. This music, I think that's really what's making me like move quickly. And I'm like, I'm feeling like I'm being pressured to go quicker. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> it's like making me anxious. Because I'm thinking, oh God, I'm doing something wrong. Come on, we gotta go faster, we gotta go faster. The villains are gonna get away, you know? I don't know why it's like that, it's weird. But it shows you the power of music, I guess, right? Oh gosh, okay. What do we have here? All right, let me pull this. Come on. Oh God. Come on, okay, what is going on with me right now? Can you tell me right now? What's going on with Mr. Fantastic? Just chilling. I hope he's gonna come back up. I really, really hope for that. There's a little extra bridge assembled. Hit that blue stud again. Even though we've already got two believer rankings, you can never have too many studs. Plus, honestly, if you see a blue one, it's worthwhile to just pick it up because it's gonna be worth uh, a lot in the long run. So might as well just, you know, do the heavy lifting, find it, locate it, pick it up. All that stuff. All right, so here we go. Gonna slice through that wall. And I think I'm supposed to. Oh, maybe not. Whoops. I thought I was supposed to attack it. That's not the. Oh, God. Please tell me I read made his way up to the top. Yay. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate that. No, I'm serious. No. Oh, my God. I was almost raging. Almost. Almost. But almost doesn't count. Because he made it to the top, then he starts walking normally. Come on, careful, careful, careful. Are you on it? Okay, good. Move, 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 please. He started walking normally, then he almost fell off, which made me freak out. All right, time to put out that fire. Yay, fire truck, read creatures. Part-time everything. Part-time fire truck, part-time everything else. All right, Bulky. Again, you know how this works. We do the... Uh, you know, putting out the fire stuff and all that stuff, and then you do the pick up heavy things part, or move heavy things, like that. Thanks. All right, let's run up the stairs. Wingham, wingham, wingham. What do we have here? Ooh, we have electrocution from the enemy. Nice, look at that. That was awesome sauce. Ooh, if we had Iceman with us, we could freeze that stuff. For now, I guess it's time for Wolverine to use his claws to activate that claw switch. Platform engaged. I love how it's a giant ladder so that the... Oh, no, it's a stairwell. Okay. Because I was like, I thought it was a giant ladder so that even Hulk could cross. Okay, I'm kind of wondering to try this with Hulk, but I don't know how much of it... Yeah, okay. It's not really working with Hulk. So I'm just gonna stick to read. All right, careful, careful, careful. We've made it to the top. You can call me Master. I am the only truly unbeatable. Power original. What a great original name. You're mine. All right, let's fumble and rumble. supposed to fight wait let me just save and uh, I think we've done a good job no in regards to defeating him uh, you only got one heart left it really can't be that hard to take the get him under control come on Maybe I'm not supposed to.
Hulk's even be attacking Wolverine? I don't know. Okay, Hulk, check him down. There we go. Boom. Disengage. Stop. Don't fall off. Come on. You're a flock of shells. Wake up, buddy. Oh, what's that? There's Magneto. Mastermind took control of you, Logan. All right, who's next? Mr. Fantastic is next. Perhaps a more scientific mind will prove more controlling. I doubt it. Scrolls as a distractor. Come on. Smash Reed. Smash him whole. Okay, Booby. Come on. Booby. Get your hands on Reed. There you go. Perfect. And now we gotta fight it again. Come on, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> That's awesome. He's trying to get a hold of his own head. That's pretty cool. Uh oh. Careful. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Reed, you're smart enough. Why don't you get your mind under control? Under control of my mind? All right, here we go. Now, this is the most dangerous one. Wait. So, this one we're going to have to be careful with. Now, the true minds were both now belong to me. That's a very interesting point. In terms of uh, exploration, like exploring the mines, what if you just take over uh, just uh, Bruce Banner? You know what I mean? Can you control the Hulk and vice versa? You know? That would be kind of interesting to see. Explore it further. Alright, so I don't think I can hurt the Hulk with just regular attacks, it seems like. Oh, there we go. Now I got Bruce. Come on! Oh, damn it. There he goes into Hulk mode again. There we go, bouncy back. Come on, Bruce. Get angry, buddy. Get angry at General Ross, who's also, uh, spoiler alert, Red Hulk. Here he comes again. He's gonna try to run into me. He's gonna miss. Evidently, you are not. Ooh, he disappeared. Pesky fella. <sighs> Let's find the right one. Here we go. Step in. Hulk, the nuclear Hulk. Wow, we should probably stop him. That looks very dangerous. Statue of Liberty is assembled. Oh, we're going into space. Great. Where we'll probably see Galactus, who's on his way to uh, town already. Alrighty, so there we are, taking Liberty's level complete. We have, whoa, <laughs> this is actually a playable character. That's fantastic. Alrighty, we've also got uh, Mastermind. So that's cool. Two more characters added to our roster. That's damn pretty fantastic. We almost hit 2 million studs this time around. Very close, about 15,000 away from that. Uh, I guess threshold. We've got our true believer ranking again. Again, that's something that we've worked heavily to keep up. So we do a good job of managing that. We've got two more gold tricks. Of course, one for level completion and one for our true believer ranking. And there you have it. That being said, there you have it. If you guys enjoyed it, of course, smash that like button, share the video with your family and friends, favorite the video as well. And of course, tune in to the next episode of Lego Marvel Super Heroes. So of course, I'll see you guys there. Don't forget to also, of course, smash that like button, share the video with your family and friends, do like this stuff you guys always do. I'll see you next time. Peace out. See you later. Alligators.
again, taxidermy. Oh, dear. What? Some help of hobby. Oh, dear. What? I knew it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What? Are you an elk? I don't know what I am. Alrighty, what's going on, everybody? My name is Blue Look Warrior, and of course, welcome back to another episode of Lego Marvel Super Heroes. And we are back at it after a very, very eventful uh, episode or level, I guess. Uh, last time when we actually got our hands on Doom. We got our hands not only in Doom, but also on all the cosmic bricks, or at least that's where we kind of left off. So let's see what happens next in Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Oh god, okay, that's our planet, and that's, uh, I would assume Galactus is heading towards that planet. So there's a submarine where we stopped Doom. But I'm still not sure what Loki and Doom want from your boss. Reed Richards and Hawk are ready to stop Lady Liberty. Are you sure you want Wolverine on this operation? I know cooperation isn't in his nature, but we need it. Send him in, then. Let's call him up from Canada. The command. After chopping some wood and stuff. Let's go, Bob. Is it kill business? Let's get rocking. It is a very uh, interesting dynamic between Hulk, Wolverine, and Mr. Fantastic. It's kind of uh, a big, uh, I guess, spectrum of characteristics covered all at once, which is pretty cool. Alrighty, so we're still waiting, which is taking quite a while here. Alright, here we are. Okay, Wolverine will meet you there. Okay, so is this the vehicle right here? This thing? Hey, Bruce, you want me to jump? <laughs> Thank you. 
What is that in there, I wonder? I kind of want to see how Hulk drives that thing. I mean, flies on that thing. Or will it be more of a case that thing flies on Hulk? Hulk just carries it and runs through the streets. Ooh, what is that? Punching our plane, or else we're going to become a national treasure at the bottom of the. Whoa! Watch out! Was that the lake? I assume that's a lake. No, it's not a lake, is it? Because I think it's connects to the ocean, right? I think. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment section below. All right, so we need to get out somehow. I think it's gonna involve Hulk farting. Boom! Hulk fart! Hulk get out! Yeah, imagine getting stuck in a closed environment when Hulk farts. Oh my god. You wanna talk about villains? That would be the most villainous action you could ever see. Come on! Destroy everything! Hulk smash and smash! Yay! Alright, well at least we made it to the plant. Hulk can cross the... Okay, good. Good to know that Hulk can cross. Boom. Here comes the platform for you guys. How convenient, huh? Alright, looks like Hulk is gonna... Whoa! I was gonna say, looks like Hulk needs to smash some guys. And then Lady Liberty decides to throw her torch for two cents on the matter. Yay! Jumpy! Wolverine, I uh, think I need you up here, dude. I need to slice through that stuff. Oh, look at that. There's like a telekinetic stuff there, which unfortunately we don't have a character to control at this moment. All right, Wolverine. Slice and dice, buddy. Slice and dice. Got a claw switch here, which opens that up. I'm not certain as to what that heck that exactly is. Kind of looks like a bomb, to be honest. Or something. Almost like a hydrogen bomb or something. Whoa! Come on! Are you kidding me right now? All I wanted to do was get that blue stuff there. Okay. Smash it. Perfect. Switch. Assemble it into something. It's probably going to be a point for, yep, Mr. Fantastic. Now he's going to transform himself into something. Here we go. Stick to science. Puns are really not your thing, is are they? Oh gosh. Take down the enemy and take yourself down, I guess. With the enemy. Very smart. Come on. I mean, why would I want to fall down, game? I would obviously want to stop that combo, which is what exactly I was trying to do. 
Okay, switch. I'm not taking damage there. It's not happening. Smash the canisters. Hulk smash, smash, smash. You know how it is. Smashy time. Hulk grab this. Or pull this. Hulk break this. Yay. Hulk break everything. Okay. Wolvie, you're up, buddy. Get over there. Get across. Very nice. Perfect. Now slice. And dice. Hey, uh, Mr. Bean. Oh. Okay, that's not good. That is really bad, in fact. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to suicide him. Oh no! Wait, is there a way for me to get out of this situation alive somehow? Yay, there is! Fantastic, thank God for that. I thought we were completely out of luck there. I thought that was it. Suicide or nothing. I was really trying to get to the uh, blue stuff down there. All right. Here comes Hulky. There goes Hulky. Switch to Hulk. Yay. Whoa. Holy macro. That's a ginormous fist. All right. Let's attack it, I think. That would be good. Hulk. Smash. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Oh my god. Man. Sure, let's hear it. <laughs> I love how Wolverine points out some of the flawed logic, but hey, it's a Lego game. You gotta pretend like the uh, statue is made out of as if it's human or something, right? Alright, let's get down there. Jumpy jump. Careful. Time to smash some fools. Come on. Whoa, Hulky. Oh, God, really? You're going down. Really? How did I not hit her? There we go. Now she's gone. Now she's done for. What does this do? Does that do anything? Or am I just smashing radiation, basically? Yay, great. Radiation plane. Very smart. Let's just play with radiation like it's nothing. It's not like it led us to a horrible conclusion last time. And we turned into a ginormous green monster or anything. All right, so let's see. What does this do? This allows for flash form, I think, for Wolverine, I would assume. We get on. Then there goes Wolvie doing his thing. He just needs to stay alive over on that side for the next little while. Now, let's see. What have we got here? All right, there we go. We made it across. Whoa, okay. Why don't we all just chill out? Come on, smashing backing. Come on. See, y'all, uh, we want to be, y'all. Uh. That was fantastic. Gotta love multipliers. Boom, boom, boom. We're about halfway done with uh, all the studs that we need, so that's nice. Whoa, come on, Hulky. Why'd you let go, dude? Okay. Hey, uh, Wolverine. I got a clock switch for you here, dude. You mind uh, doing it? Using it? Whatever it is you do with these clock switches you're doing? Slicing it? Here we are. Slice and dice. Ooh, is that gonna do? Okay, I'm not sure what that did exactly. To be quite honest, I thought it just would bring down the toxicity level or something. Let's see. Did anything even occur? Oh, it did raise uh, the platform, didn't it? Ooh, there are plenty of studs down here, too. Might as well pick them off, especially considering that there are a lot of blue ones. Definitely want to take advantage of that. Why not? Easy stud. Let's work down the line. There we are. Fantastic. Okay. So, why can't 
think they get that blue one there? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh, okay, I guess maybe Hulk is too big or something. Then fine, Hulk, you're fat. You gotta lose weight, I guess, Hulky. Sorry about that. That wasn't me. That was the game. Okay, really? I can't get that blue stud. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous a little bit, I must say. All right. No, Hulk, you're... What the heck is Reed Richards doing on the other side? How? What the heck are you doing there, dude? Go over to the other side. Thank you. Very much. Now stand here. Okay, there we go. Can we all stand on the button? Yay, fantastic. Look at that. He actually figured out how to operate this thing. How impressive. Alright, let's get in. Oh, that's a tight squeeze. And uh, up, up, and away we go, I believe, right? Alright, taking liberties. I think that's the name of the le level. Which is very fitting, of course, because we're fighting the Statue of Liberty. So, I guess it's kind of a play on with that whole thingamajigs. Alright, move three. I need to pull this thing apart. Uh, nope, don't want that. Oh, God. Whoa, why does that thing speed up? You could have told me about that part. Would have really loved to know that. Here we go. Fly switch. Oh, great. More running out of ginormous electrical, basically, fists. Oh, let me guess, this one speeds up too, doesn't it? The longer you wait, the more fried you become. Oh, gosh. Whoa! Okay, I almost did not survive that one. Get out of there, booby! Oh, wow, how did I not realize that? Trying to get past this. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. I actually want to get up there. What the heck, man? This is not even touch me. Not cool. Sometimes I wish I had regenerating abilities. Like you. Sometimes I wish I could just jump up here and climb that rope so that I could get towards all those purple studs, because that's what I really wanted. Oh, gosh, careful. All right, let's get across. What the heck is that? Those are like nuclear rods or something. I'm not even sure. It just looks dangerous. That I am sure about. All right, smashing and bashing. So far, so good, except for that part where we just died like 10 times. Yep, someone... Uh, was green. That's what we require. Some green muscle power, I would say. Whoa! Okay, that's fantastic. Where you lose like a gajillion billion studs at once. That makes me feel great. Just awesome. Okay, let's get up there, shall we? And it looks like there's a welcoming committee up here. How's it going, guys? Snip, snip. Let's get rocking, shall we? Come on, you guys are supposed to be attacking me, not the other way around. Isn't that how this works? Come on, get the studs. Wow, that took long enough. I'm trying to see, to get that blue stud back there that I see, and it's so obvious that it's there, but you can't reach it. It takes like a hundred hours to get to the barrel. Thanks, appreciate that. All right, smash and bash. Next. There's going to be a little bit of a uh, big slicing action here. Wait. But first, we've got to take down the enemy. And then there will be slicing action. All oh, right. Oh, God. Whoa, dude. Why are you electrocuting me? What did I do to you, dude? There we go. Floss switch engaged. This is the end. I felt the need to one of those for my second grade short. to know, and uh, thank God I wasn't in your uh, grade 2 science class. Imagine you bringing that in. Yep, uh, guys, we've constructed uh, basically a nuclear power plant at home. God, what an idiot. 
Mr. Thor, Iron Man, and the Human Spider, of course. Oh, God. Here we go. God, he's going for some sort of crazy move here. He's going after me. At least trying to go after me. Did I just hit him with a hammer? I think I did just manage to hit him with a hammer, actually. Okay. Hit him. Hit him, guys. We're supposed to be hitting him. There we go. How did he manage to die? Based on what? I'm not sure based on what, but we did. God, it takes so long to hit these, these guys with like Thor's combos. It takes like a year to finish a combo. There we go. Done. Let's go. Next. Tag him. Stand back here, spray these dudes, and we're done with. And then just collect the studs. Collect the glorious studs. Hit him with the rockets. Down he goes again. Come on, blast him, Iron Man. Goodness gracious, that's not cool. That's supposed to get all those, uh... Blast him, Tony! Come on! Yes, he is a disappointment. That's creepy. Ever so creepy. Oh God! Here we go. Not what I really wanted to see. Stand multiplier. That's awesome. Shoot him down. Watch out. He's about to blow up. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Come on. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? The whole field is covered in these damaged parts. How am I supposed to take him down there? Like <coughs> To the face, a good old fattened punch. There goes Doom again. Oh, what the heck? He's still our own submarine. He just stole our sub. So let's get him the subway. Wait, why are they. Are they trying to sink the ship? You just left your partner, dude. Wow, she stinks. Any Viking inside this vessel, we're trapped. You're not, Thor. My telekinesis can separate water molecules. Thanks! Whoa, we're going underwater. Okay. Alrighty, well that's good. Because now he's trapped. At the bottom of the sea. Guys, never let me save real quick. some of this stuff. Nice! Who knew sandcastles were so valuable? Not me. 
say that's for sure. There's a little big points there for Wolverine. All right, can we get over here, please? I'm trying to see uh, what we're working with here. Am I supposed to be able to, like, shoot this? Huh. Okay. We are definitely in an interesting position. Let's destroy this stuff then. See what that does. If anything at all. Ooh, okay. Thor, time for you to shine, buddy. It's Avatar. Oh, God, why would you do that? It's not a good thing. Got a giant tornado next to us now. Let's open up this hatch before we get swallowed up by that twister. What the heck? Wait, this reminds me of, like, Starro from uh, DC. Here we go. Give it a nice pull. Oh, come on. Get off. There we go. All right, Iron Man, take him down, boy. Yep, sorry about that. I apologize. My bad. Ooh, wait a minute. There's still one more of them left. Yep, sorry about that. Here we go, Dean. Now we may proceed, I think. Come on. Come on. We've almost got True Believer ranking. We're almost there. Very close. It's really cool how as we continue to play the games, we're slowly but surely starting to battle more and more bad guys, kind of like almost sob uh, boss battles, you know, like for example, this time we battled Moda, uh, the previous time we battled, um, we battled uh, Juggernaut, okay, well let me, let me let Jarvis finish, okay, well then that's the vessel that we should probably reach. Uh, but yeah, again, I just love the fact that uh, as we continue, we get uh, the episodes become more and more action heavy, which is nice. So it's, the game has got really good pacing so far. Here we go, Thor. Time for you to, uh, you know, do your one of your favorite uh, part-time jobs. Mm -hmm. Smash them! Holy smokes, man! This guy can be uh, Bob the Builder if he wants to. Or the uh, destroyer, I guess, actually. You can't destroy that column? Okay, that's weird. You can destroy, however, everything else, which is nice. Oh, yeah. And get plenty of stuff for doing that. Yay! That's what I really wanted to see. Get that true believer ranking. Alright, blast him. Blast the enemy. Come on, Tony. Alright, so what do we have this way? Oh, there's a mini kit right there if you want to. We're not going to bother with that, because again, as I said, I'm really focused on just uh, completing the level for now and seeing the story, and of course also getting uh, True Blue Marine. Right. Blow that up. Of course, I've learned my lesson that uh, Iron Man can, in fact, blow that up. I don't know why I had thought that he doesn't have the tools to do that. For some odd reason, I was just, like, certain that he can't do it anymore. I don't know why, again. I just kind of like, yep, he can't do that. Because we acquired the ability to, uh, like, melt the silver, uh, gold bits, so I was like, well, now he can't, uh, handle silver bits anymore because they wouldn't give him that many tools. But they did, in fact, give him that many tools. Come on, melt that sucker down. There we go. Seems like a octopus's arms or something. We'll see, I guess. Come on. Well, maybe that's just one arm. Nope, it's two. Great. Yeah, you have to pull that giant pedestal down here so we can actually cross, especially Gene, who's actually keeping us alive. Whoa. Okay, that looked like it was going to land on me. Come on, let's hurry up, guys. There we go. Okay, good stuff. Let's proceed. Where do we go? Ooh, there's the vessel. Okay. Switch to Iron Man. Because he has the quickest way to take down all these dudes. Single blast. And it's done with. Stop showing up. Just use your regular blaster. There you go, Tony. Gene, you gotta move out of the way. Sorry. There we go. There we go. With the multiplier, that's where you really earn your studs. That's what I would say uh, 
big tip. Especially uh, another thing that you might have noticed that I've been doing uh, to make sure that we gather a lot of studs is I pre-destroy stuff. Like I'll just try and focus on destroying things that will give us a lot of studs. And then after that, what I do is uh, I will attack a lot of the enemies to get multiplier going. And then you collect the studs that you uh, destroyed before. You get a ton of studs right away, which is fantastic. Alrighty, let's make our way into submarines. Or not. What the heck? Damn, that was a powerful shot. Sword can go fishing just by hitting his hammer. How about you just open the hatch? Well, that would require thinking. Why don't we just do that right away? That's true. That's probably a yes. All right. That was uh, oddly successful for us. We took care of uh, both Doom and uh, also uh, managed to get all the Cosmos versions. Hmm. Something here is wrong, for sure, though. We've got the aim agent unlocked, mode up unlocked, because there's no way that this ends this easily. Absolutely no way in heck that it's going to be that easy. I'm sure that uh, a certain uh, demigod has something to say about this whole situation still. So that being said, there you have it. We got, of course, a mini kit by mistake. We got ourselves two gold bricks as well. Fantastic. Of course, two reliever ranking, all that good stuff. And that being said, there you have it, guys. That concludes uh, today's episode, or this episode, of Lego Marvel Super Heroes. That being said, if you guys enjoyed it, of course, smash that like button, share the videos with your family and friends, and favorite the videos as well. Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode. Hope you guys have a fabulous rest of the day. Catch you guys next time. Peace out. See you later. Two relievers, alligators. Why did we stuff Reese's Take 5 with five flavors? Because you can't handle What's going on, everybody? My name is Clue with Clue, and of course, welcome back to another episode of Lego Marvel Super Heroes. We are, of course, going back at it. Of course, in the last episode, we saw uh, the Fantastic Four falling under some, uh, or sorry, some boulders falling onto the Fantastic Four as a result of a little bit of handiwork from Loki and Doctor Doom. So let's see where the story continues to take us today. Shield Power Garrison, this is Fury. Instead of just chilling out and drinking a milkshake or whatever the heck you were drinking, along with probably a shawarma sandwich. Because shawarma is apparently the brand new, I don't even know, hit food, fast food of the day. Let's get it done. So it's Iron Man and Thor. All right, nice team. Morning, why are you not getting dressed? Look at the eating. Oh. We're getting out. Come on. Here we go. Oh, you need to get dressed for a play. Alright. What the heck is wrong with me? Why can't I get through the whole circle? There we go. That was a little bit too better. Come on, you can do this. I think. Nope, you can't do this. Time to land. Boom. Epic landing for the win. All right, so where do we proceed from here? We fly. We blast off. I don't want to fly up. That's the thing. I just want to fly straight. You see, this, oh, I don't like this. It's forcing me to go up. I don't want to go up. I want to go straight. I want to fly straight quickly. Come on. Maybe I'm just mis 
controlling this. Okay, so if I fly down, okay, that's a drop, 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 drop to that ship. Boom. There we go. And we've landed. Let's see. So is that dude's boat or something? I'm not sure. Let's see. Maria's gonna fill us in. Shield research submarines are extremely useful for taking... Oh, okay. Never mind. These subs feature advanced tracking equipment, ideal for locating enemies or items of interest. That sounds pretty handy, Maria. Let's get rolling then, shall we? I'm gonna use that sucker to Loki. Doom! Loki. And uh, who else? Magneto. They're all hanging out together. Where exactly are you sending me on my date with Thor? A shield research something. All right. We've uh, spotted it. Now, do we just uh, land, or what do we do? What's next? Whoa. Okay. It just got swallowed up. Thor, Spidey, and uh, Iron Man. I see eight soldiers right there. Bam! Let's take them down. Thor, do the smash down. Yeah, gotta love that. Boom! Hammer to the face, to the enemy. Take down the enemy. Yeah. It's a panel. Unfortunately, oh no, Iron Man should be able to use this. Tony, I should say. All right, Tony, get to work, buddy. Get to work. Here we go. All right. So I think we just need to turn this. That gets turned twice. This goes once. Twice to that. And there we go. Now there should be uh, a current or whatever it is that we are turning on. Water be able to pass through those, uh, I guess, pipes, I would assume. Try using your laser to cut a shape out of that. Yep, will do, Colton, in just a moment. Don't forget, I need to be collecting some studs. It's part of my job. Okay, so, let's see. If I head down here... Ooh, okay. Let's fire some rockets. That's not rockets, I forgot, because this is the Mark 42. It's got the uh, fire laser beam. Fire beam, I should say. Because you can't have a fire laser beam. Okay, can I burn this thing down? No? Okay. Can I squeeze through? Yay! Fantastic. Blue stud for the win. All right, so let's cut our way through this uh, thing of jigs. Come on, Tony. Perfect. This thing should explode with the stud, no? Usually it does. What the... Usually this stuff blows up and gives you a ton of studs. Like so. There we go. Perfect. All right, Spidey. It's your turn to shine, I think. Maybe not. You just do this, no? Like, that's... I know that it's supposed to be, ooh, spider sense is tingling. But it's like, I could have just blown up just the way I just did that. Okay. Spider sense. Indeed. It's time to pull. Here we go. systems and mechanisms. All right. Let's see. What do we have here? Wetman or sharp object to trigger it. Now, that requires the 
telekinetic abilities, which unfortunately we couldn't let y'all have. And that's uh, Stanley, I believe, trapped underneath there. I feel sorry for you, Stan. I'm sorry, dude, but I can't really do anything about that at the moment. My bad. I owe you lunch or something. It just seems like Spider Sense is tingling. Tingling. Come on. Whoa, careful, Spidey. You don't want to get burnt down. Let's open up that water flow. And put down all the spiders. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. All right, good stuff. So, let's see. Iron Man. I'd really love to switch to Iron Man. Thanks, game. Thanks for listening to me, finally. All right, so hey, this thing needs to be blown up. Question, question, I definitely question, do question, that. Question, question, Very good question. at that. for Tony, you can always start a salvaging business, I guess. Ooh, okay. Thor, it's finally time for you to get something done. Get charged up with an electrical current, and now charge this thing up. Wait, come on. There you go. What the? Come on. There we go. Perfect. I'm like, that's supposed to be working about now. Let's proceed. Hammer time. Ooh, a soldier's time. Come on, take them all down, Thor. Come on, take these fools down. At least some studs. It's better than nothing, I guess. There's a little thing here for, um, what's his face? It's Captain America's shield. Who unfortunately is not with us right now. He ceased at any moment. So we can't take advantage of that. Okay, so then we proceed. Ooh. I got this thing off this joint. Get him, boys. All right, well, at least we know that he's here, which is already good, because before this, we weren't sure that he was on this ship. We had our doubts, so to speak, so now we know for certain that he is here, in fact, which, of course, means that we're going to be able to get our hands on him, hopefully, if everything goes well. So, let's see, what do we have down here, except for these canisters, and I will destroy it all. Boom, boom, come on. There we go. Bam, like a boss, like a salt boss, with all this junk. Uh, let's see, what is this thing? Does that need to be destroyed? Because I could definitely do that. Oops, nice and easy. Don't want to get ourselves into unnecessary trouble. So those green things right there look like they need to be taken down somehow. Or maybe I'm just wrong about that, I'm not sure. Looks like that needs to be burnt somehow. So let's see. What kind of strategies can we have? The wall is obviously closed. Let's see, what about this thing? Does this smash into anything? Doesn't look like it. How about this thing, Rajig? Doesn't look like it either. Okay. Can swim, I guess. Ooh, where does that take you? Nice! Blue stud. That's good. That's very really nice. Keep swimming. Oh, whoa! Okay, a lot of blue studs back there. That's nice. Should I, like, punch this? I could do that. Can't you just get... Oh, there's glass. Of course there's glass. And it's impenetrable, I guess. To the point that we can't even smash through it. Which is kind of ridiculous, considering we're superheroes and one of us is a god. Come on, Spidey. Man. Okay, I am, uh... I'm a little confused. They got me. They definitely got me. I know for a fact that I can't blow these things up right now because Iron Man doesn't have the right tools for that. So that really does not leave a lot of options. None of this stuff can be destroyed, okay. Huh. This is bizarre. Maybe that? I don't know, I'm just trying to see what it is that I need to maybe hit or something like that. I mean, I'll try to blow this up. It's not going to work, though, because you need rockets which we currently don't have. Damn. They've got me flustered. 
I see a gold bit back there. Maybe if I... Maybe if I could eat that up. I can't eat past this point, though. Damn. They, uh... My goodness. They got me frustrated. I don't know what I must be doing. I'd love to get a tip, like, right now, Nick. Fury, please. Send me, like, a SMS or something. Direct mail, something. Just be like, yo, what's up, dude? This is what you gotta be doing right now, Jabroni. And I'll be like, thanks, Nick. I really do appreciate it. Maybe these things need to be melted. They're kind of gold colored. They're more yellowish, but still. I'm not just testing. Oh my goodness. I am really confused. They genuinely have got me flustered. Oh, wait. Maybe this needs to be charged by four? Maybe that's what... <laughs> okay, good name. Love that. Alrighty, so let's get out of here. We've done what we needed to, and now we may proceed. Smash and bash all this junk. Dr. Doom statue. Oh gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't realize that. Damn, I'm sorry about that. We did collect a mini tip by mistake. Let's try to keep those for the 100%.
Fantastic. So we need your help here. We need to uh, get through these uh, little rails. There you go, my friend. And then it's gliding time. Perfect. All right, let's pull this down or up. Am I allowed to? Yeah. Okay. Good. Because that looked like I wasn't able to assemble it at first. I thought it was like purpley around it, which made me think that I need to do over there. And then I'm like, how am I supposed to do that? What the heck? Okay, Reed is officially the most useful superhero ever, <laughs> according to LEGO Marvel superheroes. They really love, whoever, like, somebody on the design team must really, really love uh, the Fantastic Four, first of all, and then more importantly, really love uh, Mr. Fantastic as well, because he gives us so many abilities and things to do, it's crazy. Okay, here we are. Never mind, I thought we joined up with the Human Torch already. Not quite yet. Oh, wait a minute. I should probably save. Hit the computer. Nicely done there. All right. So I think we're supposed to rescue the Human Torch and Nick at this point, maybe. Maybe that's what we are being asked to do. Man, that attack is fantastic. It just clears everything. Boom. See ya. Laters. Alligators. Do what? Damn it. He's going to turn that on. Oh, God. Or, in this case, turn it off, I guess. No bridge for us. So, that means I need to pull you back. Go invisible. And then get past those defenses. Take down their Doombots. There we go. Nice and easy. What the heck? All right. There we go. Perfect. Shut down the current. Didn't I just shut it down? Oh, never mind. Here's the shutdown. All you gotta do is just pull that out of the wall, and you're done. Where the heck is Stan Lee? He just said, Stan Lee, help! But I can't see you, Stan. Where are you at, bro? My Brahuvian, Stan. Who are, you, who are you kicking it, dude? All right, let's reassemble the bridge first. That's our number one priority at this point. All right, wait a minute. All right, can I smash that thing? Smashing and bashing. All right, screech to the thing. Get across. Boom. Boom. Destroy that. Fantastic. Man, I love that attack. One hit and you're done. It's already cleared. Now switch to Mr. Fantastic. Because we're going to need his assistance again. Goodness gracious, they're like, they give him a lot to do. It's crazy. Okay, time to pull. See, Ben, I would probably move. He just got hit with a ladder, dude. Probably did not feel too good, I would imagine. Now, up here, we can only bring uh, Mr. Fantastic and Mrs. Fantastic, because what the heck? How did you get up there, thing? Okay, dude, you are impressive as heck as well. I don't know how the heck you managed to get up there. I love how they've got a little uh, patio set up up here. Like, the Doombots come out here, and they barbecue and have a nice uh, little party and stuff. You know, they invite all the super villains. It's probably very pleasant. So, what is that? Ooh, he tapped for that. Well, guess what? He's not here. Hey, he, he tapped in America for this, dude. Oh, never mind. What am I talking about? <laughs> we could use, uh, of course, Sue. Well, we should probably get a beam going first. That would be probably a smarter idea. Uh, where's the thing? Because he's going to clear all this stuff. Like that. Like that. Boom. Man, this is awesome. Look at this. You're literally destroying everything in one shot. All right, now that flies there. And now we've got a beam going. Just what we needed. So, I think it's supposed to go this way, right? Something's happening. Something's happening. Okay, is that good or bad? I think that's good. Those got I think those were guns. So I think that was a good result. I'm pretty sure. Here we go. What's up, guys? How we all doing? All right, now I'm playing as a human torch. 
I'm ready to take down some tools. Shut down some tools. Okay, are we playing as a Fantastic Four right now? We are, aren't we? This is pretty epic. This is pretty cool because we've got an entire team assembled. It's pretty cool. Makes me think of uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance for those of you that played that game. That was an awesome game, by the way. The first one was. The second one was kind of meh, unfortunately. I was hoping that it would be good. I was very excited for that game, too, but fortunately it did not really live up to, I've got to I guess, my expectations. The only way to bring the lift down is to trigger the alarm, which I bet will bring us a lot of unwanted attention. Triggering the alarm is supposed to be a surprise attack? Oh, I don't think it's a surprise attack anymore, no matter what we do. At, at this point, I think Doom has a pretty good awareness that we're here. And if he doesn't, he's got the worst security system on planet Earth. If there's been a giant battle going on for like 25 minutes, and he still doesn't know that there's just something weird going on, that's a little strange, dude. Okay, so let's see. Oh, okay, there we go. So get that powered up. <coughs> Boom! And that's how you make an entrance, guys. That's all it takes, really. You think about it? Oh, gosh. What's up, guys? Big fella coming through. Alright, let me uh I'm gonna switch to the human torch. Just a moment. Fly across real quick, because I saw something uh not silver, gold. That we could destroy. Where was it? Oh there it is. It's actually down here. I'm just wondering what that does. Oh, it gives you a mini kit. Yay, fantastic. I'll remember that. For when we do the 100 percent walkthrough. Okay, so for now, I think I'm just going to proceed back to where we came from. Oh, gosh, the whole team's already here. Okay, let's get going, guys. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to get everybody down there. I just wanted to check out what it was uh, that we saw. Now we may go back into the cast room. Oh, God. Get over here, Reed. You got to pull on this thing, my jigs. With your web swinging arms. Come on. Get it down. Perfect. Oh. Oh, God. All right. Let's go get our ride then. Thing? Where you at, dude? Take care of them all. Watch this. Watch this. This is going to be epic. One shot. Whoa. Okay. They weren't all done. But they're going to be about to be done. Boom, boom. That is amazing. God, he's awesome. <laughs> this thing is epic. Okay, so, uh, ooh, what is that? There's something to assemble here, it seems like. Oh, it's an electrical charge point, I think. One out of five that we need. So that's another really good collecting thing of the jigs. Let's cut through this door with our flame. Perfecto. Ooh, flame. Whoa! Holy smokes, that was a lot of studs. Jeez, that was insane. I've never seen that many studs. Oh, I think we need the thing. This is heavy and stuff. That goes. Boom. I think you're supposed to stand on that. There we go. Why isn't it hanging out down here? Not coming with us? What? Wow. We got the red carpet set up for us. I do so enjoy. Uh, Doom's house. I guess you guys uh, shared or something? You guys have a vacation resort where you will all hang out together? Boom! Man, this is epic. Here we go. Sure. I want your personal touch. And I'd really love to get my hands on you. Imagine the thing holding the Green Goblin. It's going to destroy him. It'll be quick, but... Whoa! What the heck? The mini kit just got blown up. This is Mithrains. Wait, I'm saving, dude. Stop attacking me. That's rude, Doombot. That's rude, dude. Oh, it looks like uh, the Human Torch has been knocked out. So he's just going to chill out for the next...
for a while, I assume. Okay, I think this is going to require some assembly. So, let's see what it is that we're going to assemble here, shall we? It is... Is that a generator? I'm not even sure, to be honest. Oh, I think this is going to hurt you, for sure. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Man, you certainly talk a big game, don't you? I'm punching you, dude. Aw, you got away again. Come on. You just break it again and again and again. And I'll keep kicking your butt. Oh my god, maybe not. Maybe you're gonna kick my butt. You just absolutely blew me up. You blew me away, literally. Come on! Come on! It's time to do 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 Why'd that slam down attack not doing as much damage as it seemed like it was doing before? assemble this thing. Telekinetic powers. I think we're going to use it like this thing as like a flag spot. Oh no, we're just going to fly through. Boom! Okay, Nick. It's you and Goblin. One on one. Face to face. Come on, keep punching him. Why are you whistling? I'm punching you right now. thing just loses his arm and he's just a giant statue standing there with no arm. It's a little weird. All right, there we go. So there's our last piece. Come on. Come on, Nick. Use the gun. You're way quicker. You're more efficient. And now it's time for Mr. Fantastic to shine. Where you at? Come on. Let's get this done. Get this bitch red. It's butt kicking time. A signal tower. Oh yes, we will. Final shot. Come here. Boom, boom, boom. Down goes the goblin. All right, finally one down. trick Doom into thinking that that's what the gun did? Ha! Huh. Doctor in the House is the name of the level that we just completed, and of course, free play unlocked. He unlocked the thing. Thinking about unlocking, I guess. Here comes Nick Fury as well. Awesome. So we've almost got the entire top row unlocked. Doombot. Fantastic. The Green Goblin. Very cool. Classic. Gotta have him there. Of course, increasing our stun count by another 143,000, which is eight. Awesome. Got our true believer ranking once again, of course. We definitely work hard to make sure to maintain that on each one of them. No mini kits, I believe, right? Good. I can't believe I'm happy about that. Alrighty, we just reached 20 gold bricks. That's pretty darn shiny cool. Alrighty, so that being said, there we have it, guys. That concludes another episode of Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Now, of course, if you guys enjoyed this episode, smash that like button, share the video with your family and friends, and favorite the video as well. Of course, tune in next time as we continue our epic adventures through the Lego Marvel.
Marvel Superheroes Universe. Thank you so much for watching Excelsior! Everybody, my name is Bill Ripley, and of course, welcome back to another episode of Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Now, of course, on the last episode, we were introduced to a squadron, an entire squad of uh, X-Men, which was fantastic. We saw Jean Grey, Cyclops, Beast, Professor Xavier, uh, Iceman. Then we also saw a lot of the X-Men nemesis and the villains like Juggernaut, and we actually fought, so if you want to check that out, that was pretty epic. And uh, the Juggernaut can be stopped, believe it or not. It just takes a little bit of brain cells. But that being said, check out the previous episodes. And of course, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. But that being said, let's get rolling and see what happens next in Lego Marvel Super Heroes. So it looks like the Baxter building is being cleaned up by the Fantastic Four. Well, it's Mr. Shield at the time. Besides, I can expense him. But there's something else I need you to help me with. Magneto has stolen the Tesseract and we've tracked his energy signature to Latveria. It's finally time for our great Latveria to get underway. Approval, counter signatures, war around the notes. I can't believe the bureaucracy I deal with. If Doom combines the power of the Tesseract with those counter threats, they could be very dangerous. We have to be stopped. Yeah. <laughs> no, not yet. It's not yet clobbering time. Are you going to tell them, sir? One threat at a time. to stop Loki. We weren't able to capture him and put a complete stop to him. However, we did have an awesome battle against the Destroyer armor, and we visited Asgard, so if you're interested in that, and that was pretty gosh darn epic, go check out the previous episode. On top of that, of course, we also uh, were able to recover the Tesseract. However, Wolverine got a hold of it, and now he's trying to track down Magneto using it. So, we'll see what happens next in Lego Marvel.
Check out the plastic surgery I just had done.
Oh, 